and brewers. Well, it's another brew day. Extract again today. Cooper's Mexican Cerveza. First time for everything. Never brewed it before. Um, so we're going to give that a go. And we're doing it with half a kilo of dextrose and half a kilo of dry malt extract. Beside me, I've got everything ready to go. Better sanitise my can opener. Fermenter sanitised, lid, airlock, and mixing spoon. Fermenter's down, but just make sure it's off. <laughs> Lucky, almost had an accident there. So that's closed now. Yeah. Don't worry, I've sanitised the containers for this stuff as well. And I have to put some boiling water in that. More in that. It's sticking because I had star sand in it. Now with the Cerveza, it's the least bitter out of all the Cooper's kits. So, I'm not adding any hops. If I was to add hops, I might add Cascade, just because of the citrus kick you get from it. But I've never tried it before, so I want to know what what I'm playing with. Okay. If you're wondering why the extract comes out so slowly with mine, I store mine um, in the fridge, and I do that to prevent or to slow down any colour formation in the um, in the brew or in the extract kit because the if you leave it at a higher temperature there will be some colour formation uh, so it'll be darker than you anticipated and I don't bother heating the malt extract up so with about one and a half litres of water and the cold malt extract and the, the cold dry malt extract and dextrose everything dissolves really easily so that's all you need, one and a half litres of boiling water and you'll get it done. And now to uh, top it up with water and get the yeast in. For those of you who haven't seen any of my brew videos before, um, I top it up with water once I get it into the fermentation chamber because it's a lot easier to pick that up with only about three kilos or four kilos worth of gear in it than have it full with the 21. 21 kilos or 21 litres. Okay, that's all the water added. Just going to go and add the yeast. This is the harvested 3470. I think this is about the ninth beer I've done with it. So, if you're looking to buy uh, purpose designed yeast rather than using the one that comes with the extract can. You can reharvest it many times and that'll also, so while it's an initial sort of significant cost on your brew day at about uh, five to seven dollars for a packet of 3470, as I said this is about the ninth time so it's only, what's that, 55 cents, 55 cents per brew, and I'll be using it more than, more than this as well. Okay. Airlock fitted, brew day done, 14 minutes. <laughs> Happy brewing, everyone. <laughs>